Hello and welcome back. Now, how much time do you spend doing things that you don't want to do? I know we all have to do things that we don't want to do, but there are things that you don't want to do that you actually don't have to do. And if you want to declutter your home, you need time. So let's clean up our schedules. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also share it with your friends and your family if you think that it can bless them as well. So the big question is, how do women like us, who are wearing so many different hats each day, and who don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control, take back our homes and life? free from the chains of clutter how do we simplify get started get unstuck let things go and create more time so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones that is the question and this show will give you the answers my name is Lizelle Tenton and welcome to the vanilla essence show now have you ever thought about the things that you do every day like that I mean some things you do that are on your list may be there because other people expect it of you. It is not that you enjoy doing it, but other people expect you to do it. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but we still do it. Now, yes, we will still have to pay our bills, but there are at least a few things on that list that you don't have to do. So let's look at our schedules and get rid of some of the stuff to make space for that which we want to do and really want to get done. Number one. First, we have to take stock and track our time. Now, you can't clean up your schedule if you don't know what's in it. And if you want to spend your time better, you have to figure out how you're spending your time now. And I know people have a lot of stories they tell themselves about their time, but those stories aren't always completely true. So track your hours for a few days. You can use an app, a spreadsheet, or just a plain piece of paper. This way, you will see what you spend your time on and what needs to go or what can go. Ask yourself questions like, what is causing me the most pain? What is it that I dread doing? And is it really necessary to do this? Those answers can help you to see what are possibilities that you can eliminate from your schedule. Now, when we know what we do with our time, we may even realize that we spend quite a few hours every day scrolling social media or watching videos on TikTok and we can then make the decision to rather use that time to do something we enjoy or do something that we so wanted to get done, like decluttering our homes. Number two, now look at your list of what you do every day and ask why are those things on your list? What is the purpose of each thing? Does it even have a purpose? And then obviously the one with no purpose, they can go. Number three, is there something you can minimize or outsource on your list? Now, sometimes you can just say no nicely when someone wants to add something new to your daily list, but some other things you just have to get done. But that does not mean that you can't make them take up less time or that you have to be the one that actually do them. Is there maybe someone else that could do some of the stuff on your list or that can maybe help you? Number four, create time blocks in your day. Now, part of cleaning up your schedule is finding ways to ensure that it doesn't clutter up again, just the same as when you would declutter a physical space. So block chunks of time on your calendar when you won't be available to do errands um, or answer messages or phone calls and things like that. And then you schedule into those blocks the things you want to get done. The thing is that if you make these blocks recurring, they will naturally become a part of your weekly rhythm. Number five, pretend the future you is the present you. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, when we're talking about a Thursday that is three months or three weeks away from now, it's easy to think that, oh, sure, I'll have time to do that. Yes. But when you're thinking about something in the future, ask yourself if you do it tomorrow. I mean, you know how much energy you have now, and you can presume that it will be pretty much the same tomorrow. The thing is that if you wouldn't be excited to do it today or tomorrow, 
you probably won't be excited to do it three months from now as well. So keep that in mind. Now, cleaning up our schedule is not just about removing things that are already on there and maybe do harm to some existing relationships, but it's about getting a handle on your time and keeping it tidy going forward. Your happiness and your time are important and you can do something about it. So when you start cleaning your schedule, only do what you feel comfortable with for now and work your way towards only doing those things that you know you have to do and the things that you enjoy. Thanks again for joining me today and please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please also share it with your friends and your family if you think it can help them too.